everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round three of the Delta Flight Club Qualifier. If you are tuning in live, thank you so much. I want to remind you that we are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Now, uh, usually we're live at Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, Central Time. It is currently, we're creeping up on 8 a.m. Central right now, already in round three of our tournament. But that's because this event was based in the UK time zone. So we're actually probably going to be live for most of our normal Saturday morning time slot, except, of course, you're getting that premier level X-Wing. Now, today I'm joined by my good friend, the bearded one, William Hagwood. I'm betting it all, Dion, every time. <laughs> That's right. And I'm about to open up that Choose Your Champion poll on my side, Will. Uh, and while I do that, go ahead and break down these lists. Okay. Let's start with our player on our left. Our player number one for the betters there out in our chat. And um, that's Casper's flying the Rebel Alliance. So you got a uh, one of my personal favorite archetypes, four named rebels. Uh, that's ten nub with the configuration, giving him the barrel linked Targalonk, which he loves so much. Uh, Braylon Strom, naked, Garvandreas with just foils, and Dutch Vander with ion cannon turret, R3 Astromech, and thermal detonators. So. A lot of synergy here between Garvandreas when he spends a focus, he can pass off the focus, which is really nice to give it to one of the B-Wings uh, to help them modify their shots. Dutch, uh, when he takes a lock, he can give a lock to another friendly ship as well. So both of them really helping out these B-Wings doing damage. Plus they get their own natural modifiers, 10 nubs spending stress as focuses, and Braylon gets rerolls anytime uh, Rerolls on offense and defense anytime he's stressed. So a lot of modifications, a lot of synergies between all these I-4 Rebels. Across from him, classic matchup here. Uh, the Rebels facing off against the Imperials. Connor Holmes has one, two, three, four, five Inquisitors. That's the TIE Advanced Prototype, or the V1. Uh, all with the upgrade foresight and mm -hmm. we're going to be di diving deep into the what all you can do with foresight um in this squad but simply it it gives you a bonus attack after a ship executes a maneuver and it falls into your bullseye mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple other tricks you can do with it but you do need to spend the force to activate that bonus attack uh, which all these Inquisitors do have, a single force charge. Um, the V1 chassis, one of my personal favorites, uh, has good blue maneuvers, hard 1-1, one, one, bank 2 forward, 3 forward, plus uh, the best two linked actions you can get, in my opinion, which is barrel roll linked focus and boost link focus. All on that 3 agility, 4 health combined, and we have here Dion. They are said mm -hmm. they are coming in for those foresight snap. Or I'm, I'm going to call them snapshots in most of the game. I mean but. that's bad. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. I've right? been saying I've been saying snapshot for years for this effect. So, um, yeah, and one snapshot. Of, one of the things that maybe some newer players aren't aware of is uh, that attack header. You can use Foresight as your normal attack, especially if you're sitting at something like range 2. Uh, and you still get that ability, the you may change one of your focus, to a hit result. Um, so that that makes the, uh, the defensive nature of that Force still available. And you could still get a mod if you have enemy ships at range 2 in the bullseye. Exactly, and it, it even provides the additional benefit because or even foresight range three is, as well. Sorry, range three as well. Yes, it, uh, it is one to three, but uh, in addition, it does not give range bonuses, so it's still two dice at range one. But the defender, if you ever catch him at range three, doesn't get the range bonus either. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the uh, another benefit of utilizing it in the engagement phase is you can take away that range bonus. 
we can see we have some, I believe those were barrels. Mm -hmm. And they're lining up. The, they want those force shots. Oh, it's a coming. Real quick, if I may. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm a rebel player by, you know, by trade. And uh, I want to point out something really cool that Caspars did with his B-Wings. So Braylon is naked, but Ten Nub has the stabilized S-Foils. And uh, for those of you that don't know, the stabilized S-Foils give a barrel roll linked to a red target lock. And so Ten Nub loves that because he can get a target lock and he can get his stress, so it's essentially double modified. And Braylon can do the same by just focus and then barrel rolling. So really cool setup here. Uh, I'm a fan. So two hits there, one evade, it gets through first damage. Yep, that was yellow using that foresight ability not only to shoot by spinning the force, but getting the free eyeball modification. I want to see if anybody else has bullseyes. I think he, these are just off on this Garvin. Yeah, just yep. just a bit outside. The Garvin could have potentially <laughs> ended up taking five shots, but not, not oh. quite. Oh yeah, I mean, not a not a great position here. These these inquisitors not playing around, not being cagey. They wanted the the open area joust. Pretty easy to, uh, with their maneuverability and boost. Pretty easy to catch these mm. slow B wings, kind of uh, lumbering down the neutral edge here. Very carefully deciding order. Has to be uh, aware gotta of be, those gotta these be foresights. <laughs> you do. I mean, we might see some some kind of like. One of the things you can use for managing when playing against a lot of snapshot or these type of abilities is uh, tactical bumps can be really, really useful as well if you can man end up managing angles and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, well, that one I already shot a foresight, so <laughs> can't really do it again, but, you know. All right, so uh, 10 here. Not a problem. Uh, now, which one of you were saying about the barrel barrel roll linked target lock unfortunately you do need to complete that barrel roll to get that combination to go off mm -hmm. and, and does not uh but what you don't need to get completed is the original uh linked action the focus linked red barrel roll and we'll see it here whoa okay calm down you failed it can't even go forward to remain on the board trying he's trying so hard <laughs> just confirming that all barrels don't fit you can't barrel yourself off the board so the action fails but you still receive the stress which is normally detrimental but tend up don't care nope <laughs> he can spend that stress to convert eyeballs like a focus token and he's nice. probably gonna get his target lock anyways because from dutch. dutch yep mm-hmm Dutch able to give a, another friendly ship a target lock after acquiring one himself. Very yeah. solid. It's good action efficiency on Dutch as well as giving you different opportunities to set up target locks in different places. Additionally, Dutch has our three astromech allowing Dutch to have multiple target locks. You can have two out there. Here's oh, some more. Uh, one got caught here. Uh, actually, did a great job. Pink and green uh, missed their bullseyes here, but there's a shot on Braylon. Just a crit. And going to get through. Man. I'm telling you, Foresight versus right. these one agility ships is really yeah, solid. They're taking, they're taking damage. I don't think the other two, green and pink, are going to have it. Splits those bullseyes just between the two of them. So close. I think we got some good focus fire here on green. Let's see what we end up getting. Believe it is t t time to engage. Engage. Check in range there from the turret. That's going to be just barely range two. Like you said, Will, good uh, good focus fire shots over there. Mm-hmm. Just has, barely range two. 
had the target lock. We're probably going to spend it here. Yeah. This so just shooting the ion cannon mm -hmm. to most likely just strip them on first. And does successfully. At least uh, the, mm -hmm. the force here. So remember that ion cannon does do damage on the initial one that goes through. Any additional ones would have been ion tokens, but doesn't matter in this case. Yep, and Dutch did hand off a lock to Garvin, uh, trying to help him be able to spend that focus token and sling it off to somebody else. Got that three after the reroll. No Garvin shenanigans, because you can you have to actually be able to spend the focus in order to do. Uh, the he might prefer to have it for defense, actually. That's so true. <laughs> not 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 the worst scenario. But my synergy, I paid for it. Nah, just, I mean, three hits, right? And damage. You can't really mm. complain about that. Continuing the focus fire here. Braylon should be stressed from that. Uh, barrel roll he did. I believe he hit, failed a barrel roll to get that stress. Crit and nothing. Well, three agility paying off here. Let's just see to see now. Uh, Yellow used his force, so could try to strip the offensive modifier from him. Yeah, March of the B-Wings. But you really can't, though, right? Because he's got Garvin and Foresight. Mm. So, like, you just shoot the Foresight attack, right? Because he's got the he modifier did. built in. Ooh, oh, there you go. Speaking of Mons. Going into the Yellow Inquisitor here. Yeah. And gonna you, you spend it. Spend the focus and take one. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, green green agility really held out this round for the Inquisitors. Let's see what kind of damage they can do in return. Going for Tin Gnome here first. Just one. Spends for two. Two All right, difficult shot here. Do you go take the unmodified three or the, the foresight on Garvin? Took the unmodified. No damage. Oh, yeah. Yet. Yeah, two blanks and an eye. Now starting at the back, seeing what's available. It's a good strategy when you have ships I mean, stacked like this. Start from the back, measure, and see what you can shoot and uh, decide your, your plan of attack. Yeah, Braylon's the worst target here. He's got two dice. Uh, a Two rerolls and a focus. Garmin's got a focus token and three agility. So not great targets here. I think you. I think I'll just focus in on ten, right? Yeah. He's got the least modifiers. One hit. One evade. And these guys just don't want to take damage. See now, now he's still range three. I think you, yeah, you just got to focus fire it on him. Get take, you have to take one of these uh, tanky ships out. Spends the focus for two and gonna get them both. Mm hmm. That's points. We, we got, we got half there. That's a good trade. One last uh, range two. It looks like for a single hit. And will not push through any damage there. I mean, well, why, a why great just... engagement for the Imperials here. Why did he take a card there? Did we miss something? Uh, one of the... Okay, no, they just put it back. Keep, keep putting yeah. it back. Yeah. Put it back. Yeah. I don't think he... I think he was expecting two hits there. So, first round, we saw... Actually, quite a bit of damage. Garmin took a shield from the Foresight. Braylon took a shield from the Foresight. And then all five shots found four shields off of 10 to have him in exchange for one shield off of green. Hmm. Wow. And now the Inquisitors are ready to block. This is blocking time. It's blocking time. I want to acknowledge that this is probably the hard, one of the hardest matchups list-wise for the Rebel team. 
Um, I played some against a team similar to this, and the thing is, is it's so hard to alpha strike ships with three agility and force and focus. Um, and so it, it's really tough, and these B-wings can just melt uh, under, you know, like all those foresight attacks. Yeah, we're going to need some sort of real burst damage here from the Rebels to counteract the damage they're taking. That's not really the damage to the tank. I mean, it's the points that they're giving up. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of people in the chat were asking about the faction breakdowns for the event. Our largest faction is the Empire with 36 lists. We got Scum and Villainy with 28. Separatists, 17. Uh, Republic with 21. Sorry, I went out of order there. Uh, Rebels with 16. First Order, 13. And Resistance, 10. That makes uh, that actually makes a lot of sense because this is an extended event. I would say those are the three or four main factions that are significantly better in extended: Empire, Scum, and Republic. What was the other? What was the what was the fourth place one? Um, Re Republic, uh, fourth place it would be Separatists at seventeen. Well, one of the yeah, things I was I, one of the things I was surprised about. If I go back and look at at Alpha. Okay, I, like I know, I know we have a few less people playing today, but if you, if you compare just kind of the 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 spread, it it is pretty pretty much the same. Except when you look at rebels, there was a huge drop in rebels. Mm -hmm. Percentage did not wise. perform as well uh, yeah. at alpha. Yeah, it was rebels was our biggest faction in in alpha, and people just stopped believing and the empire um also was was basically was our like fourth or second or third from the bottom mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. is, is our largest faction so just really really interesting there most of the other things are pretty staying the same but uh, a flip-flop from uh, empire and rebels from alpha people just looking at the performance and uh, deciding that it's better better to go ahead and take uh, take the empire whoa look at that maneuver Man, we've had some close maneuvers so far today. Wow. I believe this is a foresight attack. So another damage there on 10. Remember that foresight does uh, convert an eyeball to a hit. So good. Uh, Dutch did drop some bombs. I think it's very questionable. Right? Like, why would... There's no mm. way those Inquisitors were getting there. Seems a little crazy to me. Now we have a blocked K-turn here. Uh, no foresight. That's rough. That's super rough for Garvin. Yep. And right. Braylon keeps his stress. Smart stress management there. Mm -hmm. you know, the, one of the few ship, ships that want to hold on to that. And yeah, there's going to be a double foresight though on him. Foresight for two. There's a Braylon reroll. Remember, Got you reroll up damage, to two so. dice, offense or defense. Uh, I think we have one more coming in. As one. Gonna push it through. Has a Braylon reroll? Maybe not. No, nope, it's gonna get through. Now that was green and pink's only modifiers, and pink is in potential to get shot uh, twice here. Oh, one more. <laughs> Let's do it again. The four sides, they keep coming. Two hits. So that's going to be guaranteed half points. Can he save one more damage? No. No, he's trying, but... Shield and a card. It. Bonus attacks. Turns out they're good when they when they work. Yeah, this is the scrum here. Let's see if uh, Dutch got caught in his own bomb. I don't think he is, but I think they're... Making sure there's no more foresights for a second <laughs> before checking the bomb. Yep, uh, just out. Like I said, an odd, an odd place to drop the bomb. I doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe there was some strategy there. Maybe you saw something I didn't. I just I'm uh, fascinated by this tin fitting though. That's crazy. Mm 
All right. Next engagement happening here. This yeah, is going to be four, only... four on three. Two crits coming in from that X-Wing. Trying to do some work here. Hey. Going to push a crit through. That's the first shield down on pink. Yeah, pink uh, and green don't have any modifiers because they spent their forced two foresight. That's right. Now they will be able to use foresight again for the, for their attack. So they see don't... now that was that was my question. I was actually going to ask to you uh, uh, when it's their turn to shoot. Do you take three dice on modified or two dice with the eyeball conversion? Two dice with the eyeball. Makes sense to me. Hundred percent. Ooh, got a reroll here from Braylon. Braylon converts four, it, baby. So. Oh, uh, goodbye. Just yeah, a just ship. gone. Yeah, there you go. So able uh, ten has a chance here too. Ten and Dutch have focus fire on the yellow. Yeah, see if Dutch can strip the token here with the ion cannon. I like it. Might even get an ion out there. Give you a target to focus on next turn. Four dice range one. That's looking pretty oh, solid. Oh. Three hits and a crit. There we go. Keep the lock. And, yes. Takes a damage and yep. plenty of ions. A smorgasbord of ions. Mm -hmm. So now Tindelb has to shoot at him. Mm -hmm. Has the potential to kill him. Got to do it. Yo, yeah, spin that stress. Whoo, a good dice here, bailing out the rebels. And hit crit. What's the crit? It council is a fire. council fire. So that could kill him this turn. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of luck that the rebels are going to need to take down uh, two of these inquisitors this round. I think that's that's the story of uh, Star Wars, right? Lucky rebels. Blues. Blue's no shot. This is going to be a foresight range. Well, the range doesn't matter, but there's no range bonuses on it. Looks like a foresight attack. And it's going to be one hit after mm -hmm. the foresight modification. Pushes it through. No, this is Braylon. He's got rerolls. Rerolls oh, for days. Sorry. Try it again. Like I said, <laughs> pushes it through. <laughs> He's trying. He's, He's trying. I had, I had foresight there, Will. Me. Man, look how much uh look how much modification Barryland's getting out of that stress, by the way. Just being so like smart enough to be like, I can't clear that stress, I must to keep my stress no matter what. Uh it's really paid off. I don't know about in results, but in the modification. I didn't see the ping of who this was. Hit crit. Oh, this is Oh, yellow yellow onto yep. Brayland, but he didn't roll the Oh, blue player rolled one dice and got one hit. That means he's dead. Yeah, this is a this is a zombie hit crit from yellow onto Braylon. He didn't re-roll it. You could try to block the. Uh, no, damage. it's gone. I mean, figured it wouldn't work, but he tried it. Uh, sensor damage sensor ray crit, and Braylon is done. Ooh, rough roll there. I mean, he was rolling. Blank to eyeball, blank to eyeball, blank to eyeball on those last couple defenses. Just cannot get it. That was a uh, red yellow, to 10 for two ten. more damage. And 10 oh. remains on the board with one hole remaining. Chat, what are you guys freaking out about? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on in this fight. No one's seen chat. Uh, the damage from yellow to Braylon shouldn't have happened. Why? Because of the council fire? You still engage after your council fire. Yellow definitely can shoot. What? Yellow was yellow took... What? No, he... Let's double check the, that shot. They're saying that yellow should have taken a shield last turn. And then have been in oh, kill. and then took three damage. Okay, uh, I'll hop in there. Well, no, 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 Jonas. No, 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 don't, no, don't, 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 don't. It's don't. too. It's way too. Yeah. It's it's too late. 
I I would say. Um, okay. I know. Uh, I, I can. Go, I'm gonna go back through the chat and see if I can determine when that was. Yeah, I mean this. The this would be this would be a, a case where both players would, uh, with a judge, would likely just end up getting a warning. Yeah, it's too far with the ship removed and planning phase. Now nah, it's too far to go back. Yeah, and there's no way to put yellow back either. Um, so, okay. Well, yellow died regardless. Yeah. Oh, Bra Braylon was deleted, so could put Braylon back, I guess. I don't know. Do we know which... So, it happened in the first engagement, right? Yeah, it was when uh, 10 shot the range one, wasn't it? Because he didn't shoot into yellow. Or he didn't shoot into green. Yeah, they're right. Ten did uh, shoot a shot and got four hits. Yellow spent it for green, or spent it for three of aids. It would have been one damage down, but I, I think it's too late to go back. That's my opinion. Well, that's unfortunate, but so is the game. Yeah, it it is the game state is the responsibility of both players. Uh, Twitch chat, sorry, I didn't have it up. I was taking care of a of a tournament issue. To to hat was on there for a little bit, behind the scenes stuff. But yeah, it's it happens. It's unfortunate. We try. We like a clean game state, so it's a feels bad. But hopefully, the rebels can pull it off. I got faith in them. Yeah, it's it's a lot, especially we're going into the next round. We would have had to catch it right away. Mm -hmm. But no big deals. Keep a positive attitude. Uh Dutch didn't bump. Somehow. Uh and gets to hand off some locks. I assume Tin's got some sort of talent roll or K turn plan here. We'll find Maybe out. Maybe just a hard one. Could just be a hard one. So uh, yeah, that target it, lock. I, it's almost guaranteed a hard one now because of where that target lock is going. Dutch trying not to get <laughs> back into those bullseyes, do anything like that. All right, Ten, where are you going? Don't go towards that bomb. You'll kill yourself. And bump in there, but it's going to still have a shot. I mean, unless he rolls a hit on that bomb. Yeah. Oh, no. He's risking his life here. That's right. Well, that's what you got to do to make big plays. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, uh, that... no, that was, that was uh, one of the Inquisitors taking one damage there. One of the Inquisitors? There. And Second Inquisitor? Too. No, that was, uh, that was 10. He died to that thermal. Rough. I mean, still not out of it yet. Two and a half Inquisitors remain. Yeah. And Dutch and Garvin are like full health, right? So we're at half to half. I mean, it is it is Caspar's 100 to Connor's 102. Right? Yeah. On the edge for both. I mean, slight uh, uh, upside here because of the amount of shots that the Imperials are getting this round. Yeah, I mean, it's, you just got to see if you can push push some damage through. Um, I mean, pink's, pink's hurt and unmodified, so this could be a good candidate for Dutch. Or do you strip the focus? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, you uh, just go for a pink's, pink's, you go for damage on pink, right? Like, yeah, I mean, if they're both, at range, both on range two, yeah, you take, you take pink for sure. No, he's Thanks. going for blue, trying to strip that focus. Trying Spence. to conserve some health. Not going to get it. No, didn't matter. Didn't matter who you shot at, Dutch. And here comes the pink Inquisitor. See, this is this is a misplay by the Imperials. I don't like Garvin pass the token to Dutch. Yep, there he goes. Dispense it. 
And oh, missed opportunity there to pass the focus defensively. Yeah, that's that's the Dutch. Let's see if it ends up mattering. No, no. It of course it wouldn't. Of course it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why would the synergy of your list actually matter? <laughs> why would why would that be helpful? All right, I'm so just Josh. No, I'm, <laughs> we have you would Connor, expect it to matter, but Connor has three of these Inquisitors left on the board. Foresight has been really helpful, being able to enable those uh, extra attacks. And was used uh, to good effect, especially on those one agility B wings. Um, I think I think in this matchup we, we need to see, we need to see Garvin start uh, start pulling his weight here. Get that three dice gun doing some pew pews. Now I'm triggered from these missed triggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, everyone's man. missing you... their triggers. This, I mean, it's 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 a. Uh, I don't know if these are European players. Uh, they both are. <laughs> okay. You're playing in your own time zone, man. Be on your game. I mean, we you know, we talk no, about it all the time, right? X Wing has so many, so many interactions every turn that things are going to get missed. And oh my god, uh, no, man, that's what tournaments are about. Like, I I get the like, and uh, I I, I write that fine line. You know what I mean? Yep. Of like, like I I want to see my opponents do well, so like I like to help them. To make mm -hmm. it, you know, a good game out of it, but like, I can't just be playing the game for you, right? Like, I would not have called out those tabs and triggers. Well, I probably would have been like, "Hey, you got a tab and trigger if you want it." But I'm not going to tell them how to barrel roll a ship to get a shot. Oh, right, exactly. <laughs> There's a difference you can make, there. You can make your own decision about your trigger, but I'll tell you how to play the game. Got a boost, may probably boost focus here. Link action, super strong on the Tie V ones. Yeah, so good. Felsepto dropping some subs in the chat. Thank you so oh, much. What's up? Touch is reacquiring some locks here. I'm interested in what Garvin's gonna do. If he, if he's gonna K turn, just one bank. Do maybe a hard maneuver. Keep it on pink. Get some focus mm -hmm. fire going. Or yep. not focus fire, but some some fire on those hurt ships. Let's see, like I said, very interesting. Oh, he is doing 4K. the 4K. K. Oh, and he, he's not going to get that shot uh, because yeah, of it. Not quite fact, long might, enough. Doesn't land in the foresight though. Or what is it? Foresight? Four shot? Foresight. That one does. Yep, it's it is the foresight super good range one to three yeah. in the bullseye. Just gonna take away the range bonus here, actually. Free mod, two agility only for Garvin, and ends up pushing damage through here. Shield. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, I uh, had to. I see. I think I would have K turned. You K turn Garvin first in that scenario, right? Then you decide on the locks. So you know where where Garvin can shoot, I guess. Just a thing to consider. Garvin's three on the Inquisitor's four. Hey, who needs mods? Finds the damage on blue. And looks like Dutch is going to go into him with that turret arc as well. Get him. Considers or, the or forward not. arc here. That is the range one shot. It's three dice either way. I th I think an ion would be really valuable in this uh, yeah. in this shot right here, especially from blue, because blue is in a perfect like blocking position. Oh. Now nah, you got lock. You got lock. Right. Come on. 
No, oh. but no focus though. Garvin didn't sling it. Actually, I don't know. Garvin needs to get out of this lane. Like these Inquisitors just going up and down this lane because they know they can get free foresights. Uh huh. Yeah, because if if it's if it's lined up and you guys just all K turn, you're still on that same <laughs> access. <laughs> that's right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like get out of there. Blue's been tapping Garvin this whole game. Especially, especially online X Wing. Like you're literally on the same <laughs> same line. You got no wiggle room here, and that's going to be hit, hit, crit coming in from red. Natty's Ooh. for Garvin, but still takes a crit. What do we got in the box? Direct hit. Direct Puts hit. Puts him to one. Oof. Oh, so this, is the, this, is the, this is the roll in here that uh, the Rebels just can't put any damage out on these against these three agility ships. Well, they can't put out significant damage, we'll say. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I just giggled. Uh, Smallenberg said Gavin's flight plan equals pop pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that seems to be the way. This one might be a little bit shorter because we're going to end up likely having Dutch against the world. Uh, Dutch and an ion cannon. Yeah, I think he just about dropped to the, uh, the fourth um, thermal as well. Unfortunately, ineffective. Uh, there. Yeah, Garvin's just gonna get four-sided, right? Like, no matter where he goes, those Inquisitors just... Pink skips over blue, and blue bumps into him, or whatever, however that works out, and red comes in for the block. Makes sense to me. Alright. Caspar's is set. Oh, a bear roll. Bear rolled out of the foresight, huh? Maybe he thinks Garvin's going to try to get out of that lane like we were talking about. Yep. Because that does block up the three bank to the right, which would have been great with closing the wings and trying to boost around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope, this good. is a pretty good kill box here, set up for pretty much all of Garvin's blue maneuvers, except oh, for that one. Oh, juked. Juked. Juke. Get out. Wow. Wow. Kept the stress. Watch out. Risks it all. And here we go. Dutch, range one into the red Inquisitor. Yep. Uh, range one. Target lock focus. Primary. Uh, that target lock set up with R3 last round. And we got Full three convergence. Hits. Only one. That feels bad. You did so much I'm work and you got a shield. That's what it feels like sometimes shooting at three agility and a focus. We do have Garvin didn't shots. get escape every arc though. Oh, that's probably it. Need natties. Nah, ah. no natties. So that's unfortunate there. It's one of those hard risks, but like you, you can't stay in the lane though because of the foresight. So you, mm -hmm. because you'll get that shot. Before you get other shots, so pff, try to make something happen. Could not pull it off. Sadness. I mean, Dutch has ha almost halved all of these ships, but has limited uh, weapons mm -hmm. to be putting out damage. That two dice primary. Even the three dice at range one doesn't mean a lot against focus and three agility. Yeah, you know what? It means oh. tons. It means tons, Will, when they blank out every time. Come on. Come I on. I mean, if they, they're inquisitors, so they could just start taking evade and force. Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that should slow down Dutch's attack power pretty fast here. If the if these these guys could, they got 36 minutes. It's plenty they got of time. Plenty of time. Plenty yeah. of time. No rush, just be casual. I, mean, I think that red 4Ks and uh, these other two guys just one bank. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's just nowhere Dutch could go. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> just nah. two or three nah. foresights, no big deal. Uh, Dutch, you better watch yourself. A quick reminder, some people in the chat might yeah. be asking oh, something along happened. the lines of like, uh, why you know why don't they just call it? Obviously, you know the, the Y wing will was gonna get eaten up here. Uh, this is all about MOV at this point. 
margin of victory for uh, for a tournament. You want to be able to gain as many points as possible to have a higher rating against players who have the same record as you. So by Caspar's staying in the game and not you know just giving away the rest of the points. First thing when you when you agree to end a game, you're giving up all 200 of your points. Like you say, I I am right. choosing for my ships to be destroyed. Yeah, it's not like Dutch is completely yeah. out of this too. He's exactly he's at full health. He's dodging shots. Look at that. Don he dodged a foresight here. Gonna take a range one uh, ion cannon onto. I didn't see which wing it pinged there. Probably the oh the blue one. Oh, there you go. That's hat one yeah, away from blue. half points. Got two. Able to convert for three. All right, single blank here. Double blank. That will ionize as well. Okay, you got the beginnings of a plan. So now you can use this in mm -hmm. one of two ways, right? The ion could be just you simply saying, I know where you are. I'm going to continue to attack you. Or mm -hmm. I know where you are. You cannot attack me because I'm going to go in a different direction. Yeah, see, and this is the round that Dutch really wish he had both thermals. That he, I don't know about wasted, but wasn't able to utilize before. Range one attacks going hit crit. And it's falling underneath the shield. What do we get? That's a disabled power regulator. Oh no, ions, here we come. Three natty hits. Oh my goodness, three hits. From pink. Dutch trying to searching for some evades, not getting them, taking three more. It's going to be down to two hull. Yep. Uh, Red still has a force modified shot for two dice. I don't know if oh, we're putting out the ions here. Yep. Full, full send from the Empire onto that Y wing. Well, I guess he already shot Red. So Connor right now uh, has taken taken a commanding lead, and after all that, we have Dutch down to two hull. Connor still has three of those Inquisitors up, and I think this is really the issue is that Connor doesn't have enough uh, enough firepower to push through. Right. Yeah. Even though even though he's gonna shake the one blue Inquisitor, the other two can just turn in as well no problem right just wait for dust to do the hard two you know he's doing he's got nothing else to do like i said these those bounds would be so good right now the double thermal drop right here you know what i mean mm -hmm. oh man that would could have been the game changer we're bumping Miss, all over the place that's the real missed opportunity wow super bumps here still got two two out of three shots yeah, no foresights, though. Good for Dutch. There you go. Unfortunately, he's only doing one damage, and none of these things can be killed. You hang your hat where you can take it. I mean, you put it into red? To score the other half points? I mean, 28 points, so he's got to have two ships here. Got hit take crit. Lock and has four. There you go. That's going to be ionized. That's damage. That's ion. All right, Dutch. All right. <laughs> can, you, can you survive some shots, though? Uh, the overlay uh, should be two hull remaining. Might, re might read no hull remaining here real fast, as yeah. that was just three hits. <laughs> so... Yep, and that's yeah, I it. believe that's it. <laughs> a valiant effort of Dutch trying to pull it off, but uh, looks like his Dutch just got passed. Oh, <laughs> well, good game. Thank you so much to Caspars and to Connor for playing that game. Really appreciate you guys. So after this round, the players do have a uh, do have a break.